Today we will be talking about pet reviews. This could be poor reviews on your product, your services, or even on your employees. All those who are, these are never fun to talk about, they unfortunately come along sometimes. So today I will be telling you how you could best respond to them. Hi, my name is Brido and welcome to another episode of Marketing Tips for Dancers. The only place where dancers like you get daily marketing tips and strategies that can help you turn your passion into profits. So first figure out why you are getting bad reviews. Where does the problem lie actually? After this you want to adjust and fix the issue. Secondly, you want to respond saying that you apologize and that you will do everything you can do, you can or you can do to solve, to resolve the issue, whatever that may be. Let them know that you ap appreciate the feedback and that you care about their opinion. Lots of business owners get mad and respond negatively to the comment but this is not only going to make the response worse and possibly even scare off other customers that might not agree with the way you respond to your customers so always stay kind and polite please do that learn to love the negative comments please you actually can, can't really learn anything from positive feedback. With a negative feedback, however, it's a different story. So, thirdly, you can give them something extra. Fix the problem and give them a little extra. This will not only get rid of their negative view, point of view, but could also turn the, it into something positive what a lot of people do is when they are at a restaurant and they can really and they get really well taken care of and get good customer service they will leave big tip in business it's actually not much different even if they might be mad so you could still turn that into something positive if you go above and beyond and go out of your way to turn the negative viewpoint, in this case, point of view, around. They might actually end up saying something positive about you or your products. And they may even refer of other people to pay for your products or services. Hey guys, that was it for today. If you have any questions about this, ask them in the comment box below or head over to marketingfordancers.com and I encourage you to book your free consult with me. I hope to see you in the next video. 